What's going on, guys? We are here at the Manchester Toy and Comic Show. Uh, it is 9 o'clock, I think. Uh, so the show doesn't open for an hour, and I'm all set up. I only got one table, um, but a lot of other guys I know here. So we're going to take a walk around the room and see what there is for goodies. Stay tuned. All right, so this is my small setup for now. Put some bins under the table. I just brought basically a bunch of loose stuff. Some games, nothing crazy. Uh, the Joes, Transformers, more games, some Star Wars stuff. So, there's still some people setting up. And then you got Scott, who's at a bunch of different stuff. Say hi, Scott. Hi, Scott. You're famous now. <laughs> uh, all kinds of cool stuff. The Dune gun's kind of cool. Oh, that's cool. The money's in the helmet. Helmet and gun. Yep. All right. Juice. And there's coffee in there. I love these posters. They're really cool. Rank and Basque cartoon. The one I grew up with. All kinds of stuff. Ice Pirates. Fun, fun movie. Um, all kinds of cool stuff. Into Jareth. It's an Exo Squad. These little guys. I am a dedicated Oh, those Animaniacs. Animaniacs. I do like that Steel Brigade. I know that's kind of how I felt. What do you What do you want on the Steel Brigade? Does that guy have thirty on him? Okay. But for you, not that much. Okay. No. Do, 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 do. They actually file cards in here, or just like pieces of them? I'll have to look. I gotta. I got I kind of just throw all the loose GI Joe paper. In there. Yeah, yeah. I'll uh, I'll be back around. All right. The Boglins. These guys are cool. I got an original one at my table. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Plenty of comics. Uh, all right. More Coolio stuff. Vidger games. Vidger games. Um, what kinds of cool Coolio? We got some Pokemon cards. I got some Pokemon at my table too. Stuff that I would love to get rid of. All kinds of goodies. Got uh, a couple of viewers, Smash Bros. Yeah, Till Grant. I think he's already looked at them though. PS3 stuff. I gotta start picking up more PS3 stuff. It's kind of cool. I don't think it's active anymore though. Dark Souls. I love that Terminator piece. Stop picking everybody else first. <laughs> They do my video first. Oh, you're taking all of them? Yeah, all right. What'd you get? Buy me out before it even starts. Yeah. All right, well, let's see what I'm going to buy. <laughs> <laughs> nothing crazy? No, I, no, nothing like... Only kind of Katamari games. is kind of cool. I sold a PS2. With, I have a bunch of games, but I got to figure out. I got to look at the listing because I sold it like last night. Ooh. Scratchy or just bad? Yeah. Yeah. Tomb Raiders? So scratched. No, it's just, it's, it has like that blurry. Uh, Generally that happens when you use like one of the hand crank ones or whatever. Yeah, I got a it wasn't mine or... What are you getting on this one? Uh, Since it's not the, it's got the weird buff job on it. It's a 10 bucks. That's nice, my buddy bought one of those sealed in box at an auction. He paid up for it, but they, it's going for two to three times as much now as he paid for it then. So, lots of toidles. Alright, 
So this is my YouTube video. Do you wanna do you wanna tell me your, your whatnot channel? Whatnot, it's, uh, East Coast Toys. All right, make sure you guys check him out, East Coast yeah. Toys and whatnot. You guys know how much I love whatnot. So keep it moving. I'm watching each one of these little guys. Anything, uh, you guys don't need to. Alright, uh, I'm back. Had people at the table. So we got more turtle stuff, all kinds of mixed goodies. We got some lunch boxes. Uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yep. So pieces and stuff like that. Yep. All kinds of cool stuff. Yep. I was looking at it actually. Some jewels. It's my buddy Aaron's table. I see him uh, at a lot of shows in Connecticut. All kinds of cool stuff. And then. See if I can maybe find the, the Last of Us today. All kinds of all kinds of games. It's a, a lot of predators. And turtles. But I'm not positive. Gigawatt. Take the gigawatt. You got one at home. For what? For what? So they know you pay to get in. Oh. I mean, yeah. I paid. The problem is the phones aren't detecting it. Find your hour and a half ride home. A list of people that paid the tickets because it's not. That's awesome. All kinds of goodies. That dress up venom set's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. So we'll see how the day goes. Uh, maybe I'll try to get more footage and uh, see what else pops up. So stay tuned, guys. Say hi, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> in the background. All right, so stay tuned. Uh, hopefully, I'll get a good show. I'll show you what I pick up, and uh, hopefully, everything goes. Later. All right, the doors are open. <laughs> All right, really cool stuff. Hey guys, what's going on? So, I just want to show you my pickups from um, Manchester Toy and Comic convention um really fun time I made some good money moved some stuff for only having one eight foot table um a lot of good friends there that i i've known for a while from doing shows a couple people came down for the trip it was about an hour and a half south of where i am uh me and grant spent the day you guys saw the video so you kind of got the gist of it um so i'll just kind of go through everything real quick and tell you what i got so this was actually my last pickup of the day um he is the ED509, I can't remember exactly. He's from Robocop 2. Um, I totally, I don't know, just dug through a bin that's literally been at the table next to me all day. Uh, I got him for five bucks. He's missing his battery cover, but, did I think the battery's out? Yeah. Uh -oh. So, he works, which is cool. Um, his legs are kind of loose, so he doesn't really want to stand up too well, but still, awesome piece from my Robocop collection glad I grabbed that uh, my first pickup of the day was these five figures here grant and I were digging through uh, a couple bins just before the doors open um, if we had gotten to them sooner we probably could have found more stuff but this is what I found um, I got the Zed uh, mainly because I have his staff somewhere I gotta find it in my parts bin um, that guy I didn't know what he was from originally but he's from the Stan Winston monsters line um, there's like a whole line of different figures that he did uh, I got the Ace Duck. I have a bunch of his parts, so he will end up being in an auction on whatnot very eventually. I army build this guy. He's a corpse figure, and I don't know why I do, but I love him. And every time I come across one that's super cheap, I'll grab him. And the best favorite part of the deal is actually this guy here. He's um, the Chatter Beast from the Hellraiser NECA toy line. 
as he sits without his accessories, he came with like a head and an arm that he could chew on. Um, he goes for like 30 bucks, but I paid eight bucks. I think it was like eight bucks for these five figures. So super killer deal. Um, very happy with that. As the, the morning just before the show, uh, a buddy of mine needed some stuff for his Terradrome. I brought parts with him. Uh, I traded him for the two bags of Izzy's, the Storm Shadow and <laughs> the Sergeant Slaughter. Those guys will end up being in a whatnot auction eventually. Um, the bags of Izzy's probably as well. I'll probably hang on to one of them just because it's something cool that you don't see super ton anymore. Um, but just definitely cool products for sure. Products, <laughs> cool toys for sure. Um, the rest of this stuff all came from the same vendor. The guy next to me, um, is he, I'll put his Instagram below. He deals with black major, which you guys know I've gotten into, um, uh, basically their recast of Joe's and he gave me a really good deal on this. This was basically a parts bin. A lot of the guys in here are like broken or just like pieces guys, but I like having this kind of fodder around. Um, so, you know, there's some cool ones there, but like one of his arms is backwards. So stuff like that. But the cool part was I did get some out of that bin that were actually worth it um made it extra worth it so there was like these guys in here there's nothing really wrong with them i really like well i really like these like they call them the prototype series because they're not painted they don't go in the dark it'd be cool if they did but um you know these guys were just awesome to find in that bin uh i pieced together him and like one or two of these guys from like ones that were broken i took them off same thing with him so that was cool and then there was some random newer 2000 style gi joe's like uh that that one and that one fast blast so and then from the same guy earlier in the day basically i just picking stuff off his table we ended up doing like a trade deal afterwards um i got all these guys all these alley vipers for my collection they're going to go up on my pterodrome uh, I got to redo my charger and make room for them, but still very cool. Happy to have those. Awesome to have a black major vendor next to me and get some cool stuff. He has so much stuff and his, his prices are really good. Um, comparative to like eBay, they were basically what you would pay off a of black major himself. So very cool. So thank you very much, Magnus. I really appreciate the deal. Um, and Oh, I also got these two off him as well. This is Jade from the Toy Island Mortal Kombat series. And I can't remember his name, but he's from um, Silverhawks. But definitely cool to find them in a $5 bin, but basically it was worked in to this deal here. So that was cool. Um, but that was it for the toy show. Really great day. Um, just kind of a throw in. These two came in from a whatnot auction. Uh, a little upset because they were just thrown in this flimsy mailer uh no bubble wrap nothing but luckily there's nothing wrong with them uh but you know still be nice to have them bubble wrap but that's story for another day by the way the toy show was awesome my next toy show is um the first weekend in april um i'll i'll be doing something for that one too it's in tiverton rhode island um it's a retro expo so guys make sure you check that out if you're in the area make sure you come by and see me so anybody who came and checked out the show uh, while we were there. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, I gotta end this, do a whatnot auction, and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks as always. Later.